this video, I will show you how to summit Etna Volcano in southern Italy. The most popular starting point is the village of Etna South, where guiding agencies abound. We spent the pre-summit night at the Refugio Sapienza, both because of the huge breakfast included and because they provided a discount coupon for the Funovia, or lift. The lift ends at Terminal Funovia, where there is a snack bar and cheap clothing and equipment rentals. I rented a winter jacket for 3 euros due to the strong cold winds. It's possible to take a four-wheel drive up to the next base camp called Toro del Filosofo. But we opted to walk the five kilometers by taking a shortcut and avoiding the dusty road. One hour later, we reached the staging area for the summit. Since the February 2017 eruption, it is now mandatory to use a guide to reach the summit. You must also wear a helmet and have high top hiking boots. The way starts across broken lava stone fields and then steep slopes of lava sand. We slowly zigzagged our way to the top. Just below the summit we stopped to regroup and get instructions. The summit has four distinct active craters constantly releasing ash. The area smells of sulfur and a green yellow texture covers the lava sand underfoot. Etna is continuously active. Some major historic eruptions include the one of 1669 AD, which destroyed 15 villages and part of Catania and in 1786 lava fountains up to 3,000 meters high and dozens of smaller ones since 1950. The last major eruption began on February 2017. It ejected lava and rock and created two new lava flows down the mountain, shown here as the dark section, one flowing down to the west and the other to the east. And like the lava, it was time for us to flow down the slope at speed. What goes up must come down. Done! This video takes place in Sicily, southern Italy. Street life in Sicily may be just as interesting as this outing. In this video, I will show you how to hike to Peak Daniele. At the end of the video, there is a link to maps, facts, and more details. We did the hike as an excursion with the local Alpine Club. The trailhead is a parking lot at the end of a tiny road. Peak Daniela is located in the Bosco di Malbota Nature Reserve. Stunning views of Etna Volcano are numerous. There are fenced-in livestock areas along the trail. That is our objective.
consisted of a guide and a ragtag group of 12 hikers of various ages. The hike zigzagged up a hill and basically paralleled a dirt track or farm road. The final push is up a steep rise to a rounded summit marked by a cross. The summit is a rocky outcrop with spectacular views of the valley and Mount Etna volcano. Did I mention the presence of livestock? In this video, I will outline how to hike the Valley of the Oxen to the east of Etna volcano. This is a Catania Alpine Club excursion. The trailhead is the car park, a short walk east of the Etna South Tourist Village. It starts up a groomed trail. Our Kai guide stopped often to point out lots of interesting facts. In the distance we see the city of Catania, once inundated with lava from these small extinct volcanic mounds. Above the forest we enter a strange pastoral area. over there is our objective. We started a long descent into the valley. Some took it slow and some took it fast. These strange skinny rock walls are called dikes. They were formed when lava came to the surface through cracks. Over the years the soil eroded leaving the magma exposed. We were joined by some canine friends, volcano dogs. Once down in the valley, we hugged the edge of the lava fields. Even in early July, there was still plenty of ice left over from the winter. At this stage, we started the long angle traverse of the eastern side of the volcano. The lava stone areas were difficult to cross. We have come to a grinding halt. Some people are having trouble crossing these rocks. Our objective in sight. The lava sand on the slope is hard packed and has a frozen layer just below the surface. After lunch we started the long descent and return. Some preferred the kamikaze descent method, while others took their time. Did I mention that lava sand is sharp? At the bottom, now for the long ascent. In this video, I will show you how to hike to the crest of Mount Naturi, north of Etna Volcano. This is a Catania Alpine Club excursion. The trailhead is at an unmarked clearing below the ridgeline of Mount Naturi. We followed the dirt track to the east, circling under the crest. We looped our way around to its northern side while picking wild figs and farmer's grapes along the road. What you got there? Ooh. We continued winding our way up to a small church. At the church, the route became an old, unused farm track. About 100 meters below the crest, 
We left the track and made our way up a winding goat path. It was a fair bit of scrambling and zigzagging to reach the crest. The crest was fairly narrow with steep slopes on both sides and a lot of large boulders on top that needed to be skirted. We went south along the very narrow and steep crest to the highest spot, a boulder. We continued on a bit further to a small depression that marked the end of the trail. The return was a random downhill zigzag of the northern slopes to another dirt road. On the return we often stopped to pick walnuts, pears, raspberries, apples and even cactus fruit. Well, it doesn't taste that great, but it does leave behind a lot of thorns in your fingers.